Madam, let's start with the first question. Uh, what is Ramoji Film City? Ramoji Film City is the world's largest film studio complex where you come with a script and go with the can. It's been found, uh, it, it is a um, concept which is where the visionary Mr. Ramoji Rao had conceived it mm -hmm. and designed completely from the studios where we are the largest uh, Guinness Book World Record holder mm -hmm. for the largest film studio complex. What are the facilities that you have here? We have uh, all facilities uh, right from pin to aeroplane is what we can, uh, okay. we can provide you. Pre-production, post-production and locations, mm -hmm. we can provide even the artists, co-artists, mm -hmm. uh, we have hotels and we have different categories of hotels right from 5 star, 4 star, 3 star and you know the dormitory style also. Okay. And what, I mean, you said is the largest, so what is the expanse like, how big is it? We are around about 1,666 acres okay. at present and we are growing big mm -hmm. and uh, you know most important thing is the total area is completely secured. Okay. Anybody can come, it is without any hustle and bustle, mm -hmm. there is no uh, compromise on uh, security. Okay. And the time of the producer, director and the actors is well taken care. Mm -hmm. The director and the producer feel so happy that, uh, you know, whatever uh, the number of days that yeah. they have planned mm -hmm. is 40% within that 40% uh, is been, 60% uh, uh, is, com within 60% they are completing their task. Okay. So it is, so it's very good for them. If also. it is for 60 days, yeah. they complete in uh, just uh, 45 days. Okay. okay. We had recently Krish 3 been mm -hmm. shot here. Yeah. Uh, the whole team of uh, Krish 3, uh, Rithik Roshan and his father, the total mm -hmm. team together had stayed here. Mm -hmm. Who thought it would be round about 60 days. We could complete within 45 days they were more than happy and very enthusiastic saying go going all round and saying in their magazines mm. also saying that we had the best time in film city mm. and it's uh, it's a one stop shop for the producers directors and the actors also because they just shoot and come back to the yeah. hotels rest for some time go back need not travel in the traffic yeah. need not waste their time so it become they they spend their uh, time with their family. The family also stays here, mm -hmm. so that way they don't miss their uh, family also at the shooting spot. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, you talked about some of the Indian films being shot. What about international? Have any international films been shot here? Yeah, we had Crocodile, uh, Quicksand. Mm -hmm. We had a couple of. Uh, Films from the Hollywood also Night shot. Falls. Nightfall uh, being shot. Uh, some ad films. Also. Some ad films also been shot. Mm -hmm. So we had been uh, the international films coming in, okay. and we are having good response. And we have the sync sound camera also, wherein I think in India we only alone uh, Ramaji Film City alone has it. Okay. Uh, this is for the. International uh, filmmakers. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> so now, are you trying to reach out more to the international scenarios so to attract a greater number of producers to come and shoot here? Yeah, certainly we were, we would be, and we would be working on that and uh, looking at other options and opportunities also from the international uh, filmmakers mm -hmm. as to how. Even our uh, hotels on the, you know, um, uh, 
hygiene site we have an international certificate dvr uh, certified iso 22000 mm -hmm. where anybody can walk into the kitchens look into the sanitation and safety of food uh, production okay. and quality yeah. so those are the standards uh, that we have we have the best state of the art uh, sound theater yeah. which is called symphony mm -hmm. we have the best uh, technical uh, digital uh, special effects, I should say, okay. called mantra. Mm -hmm. uh, we have mostly the best, I should say, I cannot keep, uh, there, there would be a lot of array <laughs> yeah. if I had to name them. Okay. We are very good, uh, we have uh, good locations, we have um, uh, good expanse to uh, put sets. Yeah. And we have a separate set department as a whole who does according to the requirement of the art director within the stipulated time. And we deliver things mm -hmm. before time. Okay. It's and not on budget. time. And um, within the budget. Within the budget. Okay. The uh, budget as it is cut, uh, comes down for yeah. the producer because his time is being saved. If he's coming for 60 days, we are doing it in 50, uh, 45 days. Yeah. That itself, there is a lot of saving in the budget True. for and the producer and director. So, I mean, broadly speaking, then you could say that what you have here compares with the best that exists anywhere. I think we should be definitely be comparable anything best in the world. And we are being preferred by many who had shot their films for instance the international films like uh, crocodile and nightfall they acknowledge this okay. so that is happy to hear and we feel that we have more and more uh, uh, new mm -hmm. business, uh, international uh, producers and directors expecting on this okay and how, how do you plan to reach out to them for instance would you look like participating in festivals like Khan Film Festival where India is a partner country this year? Yeah, we are thinking seriously about participating in it mm -hmm. and we would be participating, trying to explore the opportunities in the international market because now we have the, you know, encouragement from the international the yeah. producers and directors. Okay. And moving on to the I believe that you've also started uh, associated with the film city some tourism products and services. So can, can you describe what yeah. exactly the and, other and why, did you, of, why did you start that? The other phase of uh, you know film city as a tourism mm. is only because we had a lot of uh, uh, requests. requests from the guests mm. who are visiting Film City. Why can't it be a des uh, a Why can't it be open to the public? Okay. Wherein they were because of the architectural uh, detailing and lot of n number of gardens. Mm -hmm. We have the Mughal era, the uh, Mauryan era. So it was a request from the people who have started visited, and we also found that yes, we should go on the cinematic uh, tourism. Mm. Uh, and we started having uh, started the journey in, in okay. that uh, fashion and uh, started uh, thinking on those lines improving we have good attractions live shows mm. uh, every day happening two live shows and we have uh, on movie magic uh, how a movie can be made basically uh, you know action uh, and we have couple of dark one dark ride and a simulating the simulator ride mm -hmm. and we are coming up with many more attractions which are completely going to be film based okay. that's what we are uh, thinking ahead and planning mm -hmm. we, we are on the planning uh, stage so are these tourists uh, supposed to be day visitors or can they stay on we have two two categories we have day visitors who come in the morning at nine o'clock and leave the park at 5 30 mm -hmm. and we have special events uh, during summers called the summer carnival 
and during winter called the winter carnival and during dasara and deepavali we have dasara to deepavali celebrations okay. it's a festive celebrations yeah. so that time our park extends till 10 o'clock in the night okay. from morning 9 till 10 o'clock in the night mm -hmm. and for these we have different categories of hotels we have a luxury property called sitara it's a five star property vetara it's mm -hmm. it's a comfort property and we have value hotel we have an economy hotel yeah. so we have four categories of hotels where uh, all the visitors who are interested can stay in the hotels wherein they have uh, access to the park yeah. and they can uh, you know enjoy and experience the difference okay. but mo i imagine that currently most of the tourists are uh, locals from from andhra pradesh or from no. india yeah it's mostly from india we have uh, um, uh, foreigners just coming who are come who have come to hyderabad definitely ramaji film city is a must see destination okay. now so it's there on the tourism map yeah place. it's yeah. it's there on the tourism map and uh, being uh, doesn't it keeps on recording sorry it's there on the tourism map mm -hmm. and people who come to andhra make it a point foreigners or in the uh, you know pan india mm -hmm. We have good attendance. We are uh, scaling up to three million. We are uh, having plans to scale up to three million this year. Three million visitors. Visitors. At present, we are at one point five okay. million. Okay. Already, we we have uh, achieved that. And, uh, we are looking ahead, doing our uh, homework to. Okay. But, but at 3 million then will it not be a delicate balance between ensuring that a producer gets his privacy his his peace of mind yeah and it's a, it's a very good question but that is the magic that it happens here i should say we have a separate place for shoot wherein you know the visitors don't disturb the uh, production that is the fine balance we maintain between the production and the tourism we have uh, one of the india's first and only backlog tour because these are the places where shootings might happen yeah. but they are not allowed to walk in those places so we take them in a very disciplined manner yeah. in a bus yeah. which is conducted tour which yeah. is called conducted tour okay. and uh, you know that way we maintain a balance between tours and uh, visitors and uh, the producers actors so anyone uh, feels that where the tourists are and where the films are happening so nobody at the end of the day don't mm. realize that really each is complimenting others but okay. only when it is been shot they have an opportunity to look at when it is happening on the way yeah. in the backlog tour but they will not be taken to the tourism you know the film uh, shot areas because we have beyond also mythological city where uh, you have uh, sets been created mm. specifically for those pictures just like krish to yeah. we have done a complete set and uh, the actors actresses the to total team goes there mm -hmm. so there is no disturbance at all Do you keep these sets even after the shooting is over for visitors for tourists or you just not? At present, we you know we have certain permanent sets which are uh, being no, but shot. No, suppose a big landmark film like let's say Nightfall is shot here. So, would, do you think tourists would be interested in seeing? Uh, yeah, we had some props which we had kept. Okay. okay. Not the total set. It's actually the producer's choice is most important. it's it we go uh, according to the producer's choice okay. if he is interest uh, if he allows us to keep we we wouldn't mind because it will be a mileage to his movie yeah. uh, you know and it will be enjoyed by the tourists yeah. so it depends upon the producer's interest and choice and when you plan to get up to 3 million uh, are you looking at a good number of foreigners in that and how do you plan to get the foreigners yeah. yeah we are thinking of uh, foreign tourists on uh, 
for this uh, yeah. number. Yeah. But what uh, we are doing is we are going stepwise. We are uh, now concentrating on Pan India, yeah. and we have just started international marketing. Okay. So uh, it is a uh, as you know when we start things move very yeah. slowly, True. and slowly we also will get acclimatized, yeah. and we would be able to definitely meet the requirements of the international tourists. Now let's come to the man who set this whole The mice and the weddings. And we are concentrating mostly for foreign tourists, the mice mm -hmm. and the wedding section. Okay. And we are coming up with the concept of wow weddings, where they have the Indian style of weddings. A married couple in foreign mm -hmm. can have an Indian style wedding. Okay. So getting that is, remarried in India. Yeah, <laughs> getting remarried in India. Right. Okay. So that we do the same. Uh, cinematic way for them. Okay. You shoot that also? Yeah. Can we you shoot give them and a film? <laughs> yes. We shoot and we will give, be giving them a film. Okay. And even for honeymooners also, that okay. is what we are intending to do. We are uh, in the process of developing concepts okay. where the honeymooners uh, on their um, uh, you know, um, uh, honeymoon mm. holidays, yeah. we try to make them uh, the Romeo and Juliet, give them the dresses, the props, okay. accessories, and make them an act and shoot a film <laughs> and give them their cassette. This is what is, yeah, yeah, in the process. Okay. Well, let's come to the, the man who's created all this. Can you talk about uh, Mr. Ramazi himself? What, you know, if you can just quickly go through his career, if it is possible to go through his career quickly. <laughs> To tell about such a great person who is uh, fortunately my father father-in-law mm -hmm. he's a visionary he's a, uh, he has uh, multi you know uh, businesses mm -hmm. which na, which are certain things are uh, synergical to each uh, which would be complementing yeah. just like hotels complementing the tourists. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's the largest media, media baron. He had in, uh, started Inadu, mm. which is his, uh, which is the largest circulated daily yeah. in Andhra Pradesh, okay. which has been established 30 years back. Mm. Uh, Margadarsi is a chit fund company, mm -hmm. which is the first of its kind, okay. uh, wherein it manages people's money. And, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, it, it is managed by him mm -hmm. with a group of, uh, who, where group of people try to save it yeah. and it has been managed. Mm -hmm. That's the total concept of it. Okay. And it is uh, 50 years old. It's completed its 50 years. Okay. So that is the first uh, company that he has established. Mm -hmm. And later on Inadu, then uh, Priya Pickles. Dolphin Hotels, Priya Pickles is uh, into uh, making of pickles, yeah. masalas mm. and you know uh, we are into oils, edible oils. Mm. We have an array of uh, products in Priya okay. as a brand mm -hmm. and uh, we are into hotels, Dolphin Hotels where we have one in Vizak and uh, four properties in Ramuji Film City okay. and later on uh, he had a banner of Usha Kiran movies mm. where close to 100 films have been shot uh, and uh, from the largest uh, television network, e Inadu, mm. ETV, yeah. the, uh, where we had uh, 12 channels okay. and um, then coming to, uh, we, we, we had uh, Mayuri Film Distributor. Okay. Film distribution mm -hmm. and uh, Kalanjali, where he had a tribute to honor the handicrafts who had done with uh, artisans who okay. have done uh, created, thing with hands. created things with hands, okay. wherein you get uh, arts and crafts mm -hmm. and uh, textiles, Kalanjali okay. and. Uh, what about his film career? Where did it start? 
How did it start? Films was, uh, you know, uh, it was his uh, passion. Always he had passion to do something which would uh, help and uh, make people understand about the moral of it. Mm -hmm. All films what he had uh, taken is only pure inspirational and uh, value based. Okay. Those And he always introduced new uh, star cast mm -hmm. and uh, made films as a blockbuster hit. Okay. But he was uh, okay. handling multiple responsibilities in the cinema? Simply producer, no. director? No, or? he was a producer, but he was always very keen on the story. Okay. And very important is, uh, the story is, uh, should be relevant to the society. What is the message it is giving? Mm -hmm. How, how it, it is meaningful? Okay. Is what was always in his work, whatever he does it, mm -hmm. was always uh, the principle which underlines which goes underlined. Okay, that's interesting.